So I want to talk to you about what kinds of things you want to share in your class PLN. So there are three kinds of resources that you're going to be looking to share. So we've got our PLN instructions, our connections, and any other ET630 resources. Those are the things you want to share. So first of all, with our PLN instructions, you um, can have things like introductions to PLNs that you might find useful so that your classmates, your class PLN mates can share those with their teachers. Um, you want things about expanding your PLN, so you might find articles or, or other how-tos about where you can find uh, PLN participants and people that you can connect with, and then any kind of technical instructions uh, about types of social media. So how do I set up Twitter? How do I create a PLN with Twitter? How do I do that with Tumblr or whatever it is that you want to connect with? Um, second thing is connections. So for connections, you are going to want to share the kinds of things that you actually connect with as part of your own personal PLN. So when you have your professional learning network, who do you connect to? Do you follow Will Richardson, for example? Or do you follow ISTE? So it could be people, it could be organizations, it could also be that you found some community where people interact, and so there, uh, there's the educators PLN or other places like that that you might have found that are great places for people to go that isn't just one social media thing, but maybe there are forums or something else. And so that would be a powerful thing to share on your um, class PLN with, with your teammates. Then the third thing is other ET630 resources. So those two were related to your PLN project, but you can actually share things related to any of the class projects. So that could be really powerful. Now what not to share? You don't want to share things that are totally unrelated to ET630, and you don't want to share things that are just good resources. So this is not the purpose of this. I'm not saying that you never want to share good resources. Of course you do. But you may have some good technology resources that you find and they're great, but they're not about PLNs. They're not about telecollaborative projects. They're not about critical information literacy. They're not about creating websites. Then you probably don't want to share those as resources. Um, so here's some examples of a PLN that, uh, that was from a previous class and I'll go over some of these examples as to what was more appropriate and what was less appropriate. So you can see down at the bottom there's a welcome message. That's great. That's, that's a wonderful thing to start out with. But then after that, um, Alexandra posted a brief intro to uh, PLNs for educators, that's great. Uh, then some tips for creating a PLN, that's also wonderful. Then here, um, Whitney, who by the way is great at all things social media, uh, posted an article that didn't really seem to relate to anything. It's a great resource and uh, the person that it comes from, George Kuros, is uh, great person and so I could imagine connecting to that person as part of my PLN but the article probably wasn't appropriate for a PLN and you can see that I even commented on that and so then uh, something from me and what is a PLN why do you need one is uh, obviously an appropriate resource uh, 15 teacher pages to follow on Facebook. So there you go. It's not, this happens to be Twitter, and it's certainly not all about Twitter. This is an example of another kind of social media that might be part of your PLN. So that's great. So these are just a few examples from a previous semester. There are lots more, and this class PLN happened to be in Twitter. I've had others in Tumblr, in Facebook, in Pinterest, and a variety of other uh, social media, so don't think you're restricted to Twitter. So I hope this helps you a little bit, at least, with what the purpose of your class PLN is and what you're going to post to your class PLN, just materials that are relevant to ET630, most of them are likely to be about 
professional learning networks, but they don't have to all be, but they are likely to be that. So resources and uh, people that you might want to connect with or that others might want to connect with, uh, but resources for creating a PLN would be great. So um, if you have any questions, let me know.